Hi guys, this is Sadek from droidwin.com and in this video we will show you how to install the latest Pixel Experience ROM on OnePlus 7T, OnePlus 7T Pro, OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 7 Pro. The ROM is based on the latest Android 13 update. So let's get started. In this regard, your first course of action is to download and install the Android SDK platform tools. For the unaware, the Android SDK platform tool contains all the ADB binaries and is required by your PC to execute ADB commands. So download it from the link given in the description and then extract it anywhere on your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in E drive. You could extract it anywhere on your PC. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now enable both these toggles. So for that, go to the settings menu on your device. Then within settings menu, go to about device, then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will now get a notification that you are now a developer. Once that is done, go back. Again, go back. Now go to system settings and you should now see developer options. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking. In my case, it's already grayed out because I unlocked the bootloader already. In your case, it would be in a white text. So unlock the toggle next to it. After that, scroll down and enable the toggle next to USB debugging as well. You will now get a prompt on your device. Tap on OK. Wait for a few seconds and you might get another prompt. If you are not getting it, means the connection has been established successfully. So let's now verify the ADB connection. For that, go to the platform tools folder on your PC. Then type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will now open the command prompt with the directory of platform tools. Now type in the ADB devices command. Make sure that you get a serial ID. In my case, I'm getting a serial ID. This means that the ADB connection is successful. If you don't get a serial ID, then tap on revoke USB debugging and then retry the process. Or you could also switch the USB cable and USB port. It is recommended that you use the USB 2.0 port and not the USB 3.0 port. So try out these tweaks and you should get a serial ID after ADB devices command. If that's well and good, then your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that unlocking the bootloader will lead to the burning of the warranty and it will factory receive your device. So make sure to take a data backup and keep in mind that it might nullify the warranty as well. So if that's well and good, then let's now boot our phone to fastboot mode and then unlock the bootloader. So booting the phone to fastboot mode requires you to execute a single line of command. Just re-verify that you have enabled both the USB debugging as well as the OEM unlocking toggles enabled. If that's well and good, then now just execute the following command ADB reboot bootloader and your phone will boot to the fastboot mode. As you could see, it started the process. The entire process should take only a few seconds and your device will boot into fastboot mode. So it's currently booting in this mode. As you could see, the device has booted and the device state shows the current status of bootloader. In my case, I've unlocked it already. So it's showing the device state as unlocked. In your case, it will be logged. So now type in fastboot devices and hit enter. If you get a serial ID, this means that the fastboot connection is established successfully. If you do not get any serial ID or you get a message as waiting for device, then it means that the fastboot drivers are not installed. In that case, you will first have to install the fastboot drivers. I have given the link of that guide as well as the video in the description. Please go and have a look at that and install the fastboot drivers. Once you install these drivers, again execute the fastboot devices command and this time you should get a serial ID. If that's well and good, then type in the fastboot OEM unlock command and hit enter. You will now get a prompt on your phone to unlock the boot brother. Select it via the volume keys and hit the power key. Once you hit the power key, it will unlock the bootloader and your device will boot to the OS. So once it boot to the OS, you'll again have to enable USB debugging as I've shown in this guide and shown you in the video as well. So again, go to settings menu, enable USB debugging. Once that is done, you'll again have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. So once you have enabled debugging, type in ADB reboot bootloader and your device will again boot to the fast boot mode. Once you reach this mode, let's now proceed ahead. So your next course of action is to download the recovery as well as the ROM. In this case, we are using the official Pixel Experience Recovery and the ROM as well. The link for all these four files have been given in the description. By four files, I mean the files for all these four devices. I have given the link in the description to so download it corresponding to your device as well. So, for example, I am downloading for OnePlus 70. You will there see two editions. One is the normal edition and next one is the plus edition. In the plus edition, you will get a couple of additional Google apps and features. So, I am using this. In this case, the size of 1.72 MB is corresponding to the ROM file and this is the recovery file of pixel experience. 
it is recommended that you only use this recovery and not any other recovery such as PWRP. Only stick with the recovery that comes with the custom ROM. So download both this file and then transfer it to the platform tools folder on your PC. Apart from that, I would recommend you to name this file as ROM and recovery. This is done so that it becomes easier to type in the command prompt. So just right click on it and select the rename option and rename the ROM file to simply ROM and recovery file to recovery. Once that is done, you will now have to flash this recovery to the recovery partition. The command for that is password flash recovery recovery.img. It's as simple as that. So let me show you. The recovery is a recovery partition and recovery.img is the name of the recovery file. So let's now execute this command to flash the recovery file. So open the command prompt and just type in this command. Reverify that the name of the file is recovery img in your case as well. And now hit enter. It will now flash the recovery partition. This is the recovery partition. And once that is done, you will now have to boot your phone to this recovery. For that, you may either use the fastboot, fast boot, reboot recovery command, or use the power volume key to bring up the recovery mode and hit the power key to confirm. So let's use the command method and hit enter. Your device should now reboot to the pixel experience recovery. It will take around four or five seconds for the process to get completed. So let's check out the, as you could see, it has now booted to the recovery. The recovery is now permanently flashed to our device and it has replaced the soft recovery. So once now that we are in, in this pixel experience recovery, our next course of action is to install the ROM. For that, let me show you the next step. So before that, since you might be aware that our device has two slots A and B, so in order to maintain the consistency between both these slots, we'll have to flash the copy partition zip file. This file makes sure that the data across both these slots are consistent. In other words, they are same. So download the zip file and transfer it to the platform tools folder. For the ease of convenience, let's rename it to something shorter. Let's rename it to CP, which stands for copy partition, and hit enter. We will now have to flash this file via the ADB sideload method from the recovery itself. So first and foremost, on the pixel experience recovery, go to apply update, then select apply from ADB. After that, you will have to open the platform tools folder and make sure that you are getting this message in the bottom right ADB sideload file name. If that's well and good, now launch the command prompt window inside the platform tools folder and then type in ADB sideload followed by the file name. We have already named the file as cp, so cp followed by the extension which is zip and hit enter. This file will now be transferred to the device and installed by the pixel experience recovery. As you could see the installation is in progress. The partitions are being copied across both the slots and it would only take a few seconds. You could see the progress given in the bar as well. So let's wait while it's been flashed. Once that is done, you, we will next be flashing the ROM. But let's first let this file be flashed. So after that, the next course of action will be to flash the ROM. But before that, we'll also have to factory reset the device. So as soon as this copy partition gets flashed, we will be performing a factory reset. I have given the link of this guide in the description. You can go and have a look at it whenever you are stuck anywhere. You could also let me know in the comment section if you have any queries regarding these instructions. Anyways, let's wait for it to be flashed. In some cases, you could see the progress bar gets stuck at 47%. That is not an issue. You could re-verify the same from the device as well once the flashing is done. It is also showing the name of all the partitions. For example, you could see it's XBL, A and or such that. At last, you should get the OK message. And over here also, the total X for 1 into this signifies that the transfer is completed successfully. And here we have got OK as well. So our next course of action is to factory reset the device. This will remove all the data from your phone. So let's carry out this process. Once for that, go back. Then again, this time go to factory reset and then select format data factory reset. After that, select format data and wait for the process to complete. It will remove all the data from your device. As you could see, the data wipe is complete. So once that is done, our next course of action is now to install the ROM file. So for that, make sure that you have transferred the ROM file to the platform tools and the name of the file is ROM. So if that's well and good, we'll now just have to sideload the ROM zip file. For that, you need to just execute the following command. Make sure you're on the home screen. From here, go to apply update, then select apply from ADB. Once you reach the screen, launch the command prompt window and just type in ADB sideload. 
rom dot zip where the rom is the name of the rom file which you have downloaded which is the pixel experience rom so type in this command and hit enter the rom file will now be transferred to the device and it could take a couple of minutes while the rom is being flashed i would like you to mention an important details as you could see in the adb size process when the process gets completed it generally shows the, the message as total x per 1 into however in some cases you might also get a message such as th in these forms as you could see the messages including the adb fail to read command success no error adb fail to read command no error and stuck at 47 percent or adb fail to read command undefined error all these errors signifies that the file has been flashed successfully yes it might be a little bit of counterintuitive to hear but in fact if you get any of these six messages or five messages then it signifies that the rom has been flashed successfully in most cases you should only see this message but even if you see any of this message it's not a cause of concern and the file has been in fact flashed successfully so in the meantime let's check out the result the process has started it has done 10 percent since the rom is quite heavy and is being flashed with a system partition file it would take so in the meantime let's discuss something another thing important if in case your device gets stuck somewhere or you want to restart the process for some reason for example if the boot partition has gotten corrupted or you have by mistakenly flashed the file in other partition then you could easily fix all this issue by using the fast boot enhance tool i will make a separate video on that as well but since the time rom is being flashed let's discuss this method as well so there is a tool name as fast boot enhance what you need to do is simply download the firmware file for your device and then get the payload bin file so for example this is the one plus 70 firmware files in my case and if i you open the fastboot enhance tool i just need to go to payload dumper then click on browse and then select the payload bin file it will be loaded to this tool and then go to the partition tab and then select the partition that you want for example let me show you a real life example of where i was getting stuck currently let me first take, so as you could see that the it's being installed 22 percent so recently i was trying to install the rom on my phone the pixel experience rom and for that i went to the instruction phase which is the official instruction given by this website itself the official side so in the installation guide when i went there they have told us to flash the recovery pixel experience recovery to the boot partition which is an incorrect information because we have to flash the recovery to the recovery partition in OnePlus 70. So I was following the official instruction instruction and due to this incorrect information, my device got stuck in the boot loop. This is because as told before, we have to flash the file to the recovery partition and not to the boot partition. So because of this incorrect information, I was stuck in the boot loop and then I was able to fix the boot loop using this tool. What I did was simply launch this tool. Then I extracted the fast boot and hence, <coughs> Then using the fastboot enhance, I extracted the boot partition. I just extracted the boot partition image in the onto a desktop. Then I launched the command prompt and flashed the boot partition to the boot slot. But this my boot boot slot was rectified and I was able to boot the device to the OS. So guys, please do, do not follow the instruction given on the official side as of now until unless it gets rectified. So because for now it's showing for the boot partition, if you flash the recovery with the in many phones, we do flash the recovery to the boot partition, but those are those phones in which there is no recovery partition. But for one plus seven series, we do have a recovery partition. So the recovery needs to be flashed in the recovery partition. However, if by mistake you end up flashing with the boot partition, then your device will be stuck in a boot loop or you could say soft brick. And in that case, you have to extract the payload.bin file via fastboot enhanced tool, or you could also use a payload dumper Python script. I have make, made a video on that. You can go and have a check on that. So just extract the boot partition and then flash it via fastboot flash boot boot.img. Once you do so, you will be able to rectify the boot loop issue. So this is an important point worth remembering that do not follow the instruction given in that in this guide because you might end up, you might not, you will end up in a boot loop. This is an important piece of information that I wanted to share with you all. In the meantime, let me see the progress. So the ROM has flashed around 45%. So it could take around 5 to 10 more minutes. In the meantime, make sure that you do not end up moving the USB cable or some, anything like that. However, in case your device is not even able to access the fastboot mode for some reason. So in th that is known as the heartbreak state. Fortunately, our phone 
comes with a Qualcomm chipset, and for Qualcomm chipset, there is a MSM download tool which is only available till OnePlus 9. From OnePlus 10, we are yet to find the workaround to access the method. And fortunately, for OnePlus 7 series, also we have a MSM download tool. You could access the MSM tool and unbreak your device as and when you want. So, let me in fact show you something just a minute. So, once you, I have a detailed guide on this as well. So, just a minute. So, you could refer to my guide in case something goes wrong and you are not even able to access the fast boot mode. So, in that case, you could access this guide and download the OnePlus tool for your device and get it up and running again. In case of MSM tool, you will need to flash the OFP firmware and not the general firmware that comes with your device. And the OFP firmware is in fact bundled inside the MSM tool itself. Anyways, let's now keep these stats aside and let me show you the progress. The ROM has been flashed successfully and you could see the total transfer has done 1 and 2. This means that the ROM has been flashed. So next up, our next course of action is to, after the ROM has been flashed, I would recommend you to factory reset the device once again. Although it is not recommended, although it is not compulsory, but I will still recommend you to do so once. So let's go back, then go to factory reset and format data and type on format data to just to be double sure to remove all the data and de decryption. Once you could see the wipe is complete, just go back and tap on reboot system now. So our device will now reboot to the newly installed Pixel Experience ROM, which is based on Android 13. So let's now check out the result for the same. Do keep in mind that the first boot might take up a few additional seconds. In some cases, it might even take up to a minute. That is completely normal, nothing to worry about. However, as you could see, the device has booted in a few seconds itself this time around. So it's well and good. Let me now show you the startup screen as well. And if you are looking to get hold of any bugs and issues, then the best place for that is to head over to the XC developer website and search for Pixel Experience for the OnePlus 70. There you will see all the bugs being discussed and the issues. So let's now proceed past to the connect to a mobile network. You can skip this. Let's set up offline. Continue. Okay. More, more. Accept. I am just skipping this for the time being. Let's skip the password as well. For the time being and it will just take a few seconds let's skip this as well and as you could see a device has booted to the pixel experience rom let me show you the settings menu as well so let's go to the settings menu and wallpaper and style are the some customization this is the new wallpaper and theming style which was introduced in android 12 and has been carried forward in android 13. in android 13 you get a few additional theming options as well this is known as a material view theming engine apart from that which you could see the about phone section and this is the build number well and good system and just you could check for system updates currently i have not connected to wi-fi so there is no update found so guys and there are a few other goodies upon with buttons and gestures that you could use so guys, on that note, we round off this video on how you could install the Pixel Experience ROM on the OnePlus 7 series. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.